In this video, I'm going to be continuing a conversation that I started a few videos back about the Deuce Close offense out of the Seattle Saints playbook. I think that Deuce Close, the more that I study it, the more that I watch film on it, the more that I really just mess around with it myself, I think that this is going to be one of the best offenses in the game this year. So I want to dive into it really quickly with you. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. My name is Cody, and we do videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better on both sides of the ball, I would encourage you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you, like I said, to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies on the channel. Now in this video, uh, I wanted to go over this play here, this play Flood, uh, and I think that this is one of the best passing concepts in Madden 22 this year. Uh, I think this is really, really effective. But before we go too far into this, I wanted to let you know <coughs> about my text message membership. And my text message membership is a completely free resource for you guys. It's a way that you can get Madden 22 complete offensive and defensive guides for free. All you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218. 6900 and I'll shoot you a link to those guides as soon as we release those. We release those every single week so you'll be getting a lot of guides for the course of the Madden 22 season. Okay guys so I wanted to go over this play Flood and basically what you want to do is you want to run this uh, corner route to the wide side of the field so you're just going to run this basically from the you know as you can see right here um, whichever receiver is running the corner route you want them to be on the wide side of the field or I'm sorry tight end in this case it's going to be Howard. Now what I like about this year's game within this play is that um, we can do a lot of different things with this and off of this but really you don't have to make any adjustments whatsoever you just call the play and what I like to do is I like to double team the outside guy if I possibly can so that I can roll out. You don't even have to have a good mobile quarterback to do this. And what you're going to see here is I'm just going to roll out at the snap of the ball. And you're going to see that the triangle receiver is going to get wide open on the sideline against the meta Mabel coverage out of the nickel 335 wide. This is the best coverage. This was the best coverage in Madden 21. It's still one of the better coverages in Madden 22, if you ask me. Uh, I think it's one of the you know the best zones that you could possibly put on the field. And you're going to see we're going to consistently be able to just work this zone coverage. Triangle is never going to get covered by that deep third this year. You're going to get a lot of separation, whether it be against cover three. Um, we're going to show it to you here against cover two. And you know Brady's not the best to roll out with, but in Mutt you're going to be able to get whoever you want. You don't even have to roll out. But that absolutely obliterates cover two. The deuce close is really is really hard to stop this year. It really is. There's so much you can do from this formation. Um, so much more. Uh, and what I like to do is block, just go ahead and just block the running back. If you don't want to block the running back, then I would put the running back on a uh, little in route just like this. And what this is going to do is it's just going to allow us a little flat read over there. Now, if your opponent likes to blitz, this is why I like to block the running back because this is going to give us pretty good protection even against a pretty heavy blitz. And what you're going to see is you're going to have time to absolutely dot them up over on the outside of the field against that cover three. Let me show you that one more time. And occasionally this, um, this square receiver has been known uh, to be a pretty decent read against cover three right at the skinny. Just like that. It's really up to click on this year is really difficult. It's really difficult to click onto a player and like get him into position to make a play. So, you know, that's another reason why I like this play. And then I want to go over this high low. This drag route is really hard to guard. Uh, drag routes in this game are super good. Anything to the flat this year is really good. So you can easily incorporate the drag route into your offense. Um, I want to show you this play against man, and that's really where this X route comes in handy. This X route, I don't know how I'm getting this crazy pressure with the, I think I'm just getting glitched in practice mode. Um, but this X receiver, what you're going to, oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on here. I just found the craziest blitz of all time, apparently. Uh, but anyway, we'll just get this guy out of the way here because that's, it's a practice mode fluke thing in my opinion. But anyways, watch this X, watch this X guy. You're gonna see against man coverage, he's gonna be very consistent for you. He's also gonna be consistent against zone. The one thing I would say is if you're running uh, another little quick uh, thing that you can do from zone, is just run the running back on a little flat route to the right. It's just gonna kind of clear out some space so that you can like have that as a quick read if you want it. I personally, like I said, just typically block the running back, but you can do whatever you want to do. Now, the last thing that I want to show this against is this cover four quarters. You're going to see cover four quarters. 
that triangle route uh, is still typically going to beat that coverage, especially if you have a good route runner there, if you have somebody like in Mutt that has good, um, you know, good abilities or whatever, they can get out, uh, get some separation. This is a really, really good route. That corner route, really there's no defense um, that I'm aware of at this point in the season that can hang with this corner route. I'm going to show you a cover four drops just so we can uh, have shown you all of these coverages. And what you're going to see is in here, got a little bit of a fluke uh, deal. The one thing, this is why under center, if you're going to run under center, it's really smart to go ahead and scramble out of the pocket if given that opportunity. So you see here, we're getting out of the pocket and look at that triangle receiver. And of course, Brady can't make that throw. Um, but you know, any escape artist quarterback, Patrick Mahomes and Rags would be really able to make that throw. But what you'll see is against cover four drop, if they press out of it, um, this triangle receiver is typically going to glitch that out. As you can see right there, he gets wide open on the sideline for, you know, about 30 to 45 yards up the field. So you're getting these easy little routes, uh, in my opinion, that just kind of work everything out for you. Now, um, something that you need to be aware of is if I have Hara Master and I put the running back on the, the running back on a table route, he's going to always go to the wide side of the field, just like he does right here. Uh, but if they blitz me and I have that table route, I can actually kind of snap throw that. I can get that out of, out of my hands really, really quickly. So let me just show you that. So I could do something like this um, or even like a hitch to the circle receiver. It still keeps that high low, but take that little flat route there. I think that's a really good flat route. You can mix in some spin moves or jukes or whatever to get some better separation. But don't underestimate this little flat to the, to the back. Just a little dump route right there. Um, if, they, if they're sending a lot of pressure at you, this is a really, really good little read. All in all, guys, this deuce close is really good. It's really fun to run, too. And I think you're going to have a lot of success uh, with these post routes and things like that. Uh, it's interesting the motions. You don't really have the best motions in the world, but honestly, you don't really need them. You're going to see here, I'm just going to get out of the pocket. Brady's going to make a throw. And as you can see, we're able to hit this corner. This rollout corner route is really, really good this year. So I would encourage you to at least work the rollout corner into your offense. Um, the play bench from this formation is unstoppable. It's one of the best plays in the game. I think it might be the best passing concept in the entire game, at least to start the season. Um, I don't think people really realize how good these little quick five yard, uh, right there Murphy played it pretty well, but how good those little five yard out routes really are. It really requires a very specific um, adjustment on both sides and it's hard to stop both sides at the same time. So what you could also do with this play, if you wanted to, is you could actually just run a curl and an out route on the back side. Something really simple like this is really good from Deuce Close. Uh, and then you'll see right here that Curl just sits in the zone wide open against that defense. So there's a lot that you can do from this formation. I would encourage you to be creative. And please don't ever forget the fact that you've got halfback stretch uh, at your arsenal. You've got a great running scheme. You've got stretch. You've got wham. If you want to audible around a little bit in the Seattle book, there's a lot of things that you can have uh, relatively easily. You know, so you've got all kinds of stuff that I think you can really uh, just really do a great job at beating pretty much any defense. So thanks for watching this video. This is the uh, the little flood. I think this is flood drive or whatever tight end angle. I think this is actually called flood. But this play from the Seattle playbook is really, really good at breaking down zone coverages. It's a great little base play to have. Uh, as a passing concept out of this formation. It really does a good job of kind of setting up the bench routes because uh, because you have the corners and the out routes, but you have those on both sides. Whereas this one, we just have that to the left. We're really flooding that left side. We have some other plays that are gonna flood that right side. So anyways, the deuce close is really, really good this year. If you've not already been running it, I would encourage you to look into it. And if you want to get my full Madden 22 schemes that I'll be releasing over the course of the next uh, over the course of the rest of Madden's season, go ahead and text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. We'll be releasing a ton of free content, but those only go to the text message subscribers. So if you've not texted me, please do so. Text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys later.